That means yell. Hey, that's what it means. It means we're live. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome to Sunday's Margoo campaign featuring the Margooians. Uh, eh, just pen that. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap, which I'm not wearing, it's on there. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you want to chat with us, uh, hit us up. If you want to see on the table or on the panel, August panel. Uh, let us know. We'll get you in here. As I've said, today is Sunday, and that means the Margoo campaign is going live. These guys are kind of fourth level. They need to study a little bit because I am a harsh taskmaster. Uh, but last week, uh, as you may or may not know, they completed the mystery behind the disappearing villages. Uh, and despite uh, a little rough going for some, including old Scarface Man Fang, uh, he <laughs> and Copious V Bitters did manage to, to survive their dump into the drinks, as did Weave. I know we were all very concerned about Weave's well-being. Weave is alive, so don't worry about it. Uh, let's get over to the introductions to let you or remind you who these guys are playing. Uh, we'll start with Frank Jr. Frank? Who are you playing? I am playing Robert of Zeppelin, the wonderful half orc bard of love. Okay. So it begins. Yeah. Frank the third. Um, I am Manfang or Noodle. I am a dragonborn fighter with. Yeah, I don't got anything else to say. I cannot think today. Scar. You got a big old scar. scar. Scar now. Yeah, my charisma's crap. You're ugly. <laughs> you ugly. You guys want a cookie? AJ, you're up next. Hey, I'm playing uh, Felix, a human rogue, and I'm a drunken gambler and can't wait to see what's in store for us today. Oh, nothing but rainbows and sunshine for you guys today. Nicholas, who are you? I guess crap stain. No introduction. Wow. A man of few words, a man of action, a man of questionable moralities, we'll say. Uh, Jason, who are you? Uh, Copies Volbitters the third, a gnome of Fay Witch, who is also a master distiller and has a little bit of a fragile ego. You know, I've heard you are a master distiller, and I understand that you are you alone were responsible for resolving the mystery between the sinking villages. That's what I heard. A you bard, should have. A, a bard, bard told me that. And right. I understand that your label is uh, doing fantastic. Yes, uh, we, we have a new vintage uh, uh, that's coming out, uh, some new, new surprises. If anyone would like to order that, we can make arrangements. Uh, Copius is busy drafting letters back to the uh, his matriarch on the work he's done. You know, I, I think the lesson to be learned here is always tip your bards and not insult them. <laughs> what do bards say about uh, Robert of Zeppelin? I I, I, I understand he is a hateful individual filled with spite and uh, venom, is what I heard. Same uh, bard. Same Find bard. Witness that won't cooperate. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, there's also an individual, a, a farmer, if you will, uh, spreading nasty rumors about him. Uh, last but certainly not least, uh, the senior member of our group, Frank the First. Who are you? Uh, first, I want to say, as far as Robert's concerned, that stuff that farmer's saying, none of it's true. Maybe the part about the sheep. The rest of it is not true. I heard the I sheep were lying. the druid. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, folks, as uh, we have alluded to, these guys solved a big mystery, mostly uh, on the shoulders of copious V bitters, and have been rewarded with a group of zonkeys, including two orange albinos uh, handled by Manfang and Felix, I believe. Uh, these guys have all uh, found their respective way back to the Saskatchewan, where they are in discussion with their old friend, Tarbell the Magnificent, a bard and cavern master. They met him initially coming out of Cragwich, and he gave them options on where to find trouble. He is doing so again today. Off camera, we have given them 
three additional options uh, to their list of adventures that they may or may not wish to partake. Two of their previous options have been resolved by, shall we say, competing interests, uh, leading them to know that they are not alone in this big world and that there are heroes in many shapes and forms, not just the form of copious V-bitters, uh, which according to this one bard, is the leader of this illustrious group, William H. Bonney. Uh, as Tarbell goes over your options, gentlemen, I will remind you and let the folks at home know that uh, in the far northeast, uh, there is rumors of an ancient lost city in the jungle uh, that has gained credibility after the Gnomish scientific team returned. However, some of those members are quite mad and out of their mind. There's also a scouting mission in the deep south where you already are in Zito. Frontiersmen have reported that there's an uptick in the giant population. Could spell trouble for human settlements in that region. Uh, could spell trouble for anyone foolish enough to go ahead and examine those issues as well. In the north, uh, we have it that a group of aesthetics at the Scientific Academy have learned the location of the sunken city called Aquitania. Reports that a gnomish research vessel, man, those gnomes are everywhere. They're everywhere. Uh, the research vessel is headed that way to investigate it, but no word has been heard from them. Uh, they also have uh, pirates over in the city of Mildic, uh, the capital of Glue Strill. Uh, rumor has it that uh, the nation is a confederacy of different races and religions, and they have put the call out for hardy individuals to deal with the seaborne threat. Uh, those are the four new challenges they have. They also have a political issue where a regent feels that he is going to be assassinated and needs help. New information from Tarbell reveals that uh, he did obtain help, and those dudes are dead. <laughs> so that could be a problem. He hires this group, he's going to be assassinated. He's going to be dead. Uh, also, the King of Darwald is having issues with the Duggar creatures. Uh, not the Duggars from Utah, a different group. Uh, these dwarves have a substantial issue with the invaders and lost a lot of good workers in their vast mining empire. Uh, they have put out the word and several groups of adventurers are headed that way. So these are the challenges that you have at your option. I will now show you via the wonder of Zoom where you're at and where your problems lie. So if you look, dwarves or hill dwarves? I'm sorry? Were those mountain dwarves or hill dwarves? Uh, the, the, the Montauk King of Darwald is a mountain dwarf. Oh, no, they're on their own. They're, they're a real dwarf. Uh, <laughs> so you guys are here in snow. <laughs> uh, Darwald is over here. Mildick and the pirates are over here. Craig, which is where you came from. The uh, Scientific Academy is located right here. The King Under Siege is right here. And the Lost City of the Jungle is over here. So, gentlemen, go ahead and discuss it uh, amongst yourselves. Tell uh, the ever curious and ever hopeful Tarbell where you think you might head next so that he can spread the word that help is on the way. Those gnomes are way out there. It will require a sea voyage. Sea voyage? Pirates? Pirates. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, we're the booty. Okay. <laughs> we don't... Alleged the booty. booty. We are Alex the booty. Is the booty. I like the idea of not going under the ground this time around. Let's let's do the jungle. Uh, I like the idea of the jungle. Welcome yep. to the jungle. To the jungle five. All wood burns. George of the jungle. <laughs> All wood burns. I much rather hear George of the jungle's theme song than listen to Guns and Roses sing theirs. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that one. Uh, Tarbell is curious and points out that, gentlemen. You must be careful if you decide to venture into the jungle. 
Horrors abound at every corner, and rumors of dragons abound. Dragon? I don't like dragons eat gnomes, last I checked. Dragons eat everything, my <laughs> friend. You must be careful, especially zonkeys. I understand they are a tasty treat. Mm. Got it. Just got it. We're going to lose it because of you gnome loving. Uh, that's not good. Low no, Jack. Like is, it, is there like a bank where I could store my zonkeys? The bank? <laughs> yeah, yes, a bank. There's a safety deposit box. Safety deposit box. We'll shove them in there. Well, it will depend. You might be able to take your zonkeys aboard the ship if you catch the right vessel. Uh, if you do not catch the right vessel, you will have to put your zonkeys in storage, kind of dry dock them. They'll have pants is... underneath their chest to make sure their hooves don't rot. <laughs> put, we're putting our zonkeys up on cinder blocks? Is that yes. <laughs> and, and wrapping their eyes. <laughs> is there a, a town or a, the port that we sail out of? Is it an established town there? Or is it uh, we're just well, that will, on a ship. that will depend. You you are in a landlocked area right now. You are right here in Snowf. Uh, you can the shortest distance is either Cragwich, which you are intimately familiar with, or you can go over to Mildick, which already has a pirate problem. Uh, so choose yeah, Cragwich, though. But choose wild. Like We're yeah. here with Cragwich. They wouldn't steal the heroes. Uh, zonkeys, zonkeys. That's true. Uh, and from Craig, which it's just a hop, skip, and a two-week trip over to uh, Pluith Drill. <laughs> we are so getting attacked by pirates. Yeah, definitely a pirate Iron. voyage. Yeah. Put your, put your man pants on and let's get it done. I vote for Craig, which. Craig, which. Craig, which. Like, probably get a good boat. We talk to them enough. We're I can't sailing. sweet talk them. No, we're not. We're not sailing a boat, son. We're Why not can't sailors. We sail like, why can't we sail the boat? Because we have it. to make it to complete the mission. Do, do any of you have sailory backgrounds? No, <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Felix does, but that sounds like an awful big gamble. Well, yeah. that's <laughs> it, is. it was many beers ago. Uh, so, Craig, <laughs> which it is? Yes. Yep. Apparently. Okay, so you can backtrack the same way, and along the way, you can go ahead and point out the tales of heroism and daring do that you have transformed yourselves into since your meek and mild days of Cragwich when you defeated the minions of Habu, which probably still have some friends in Cragwich. Mm -hmm. Are we making a stop at an uh, inn along the way that might look familiar? Perhaps Patrick's Roadhouse? You can. Uh, however, one of the issues is uh, Patrick's is over here. Oh, okay. So you can. However, Patrick's is on the road. If you want to cut across country, uh, you may do so. But if you want to follow the road, you will indeed run into Patrick's Roadhouse. 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 Hear less about Patrick and more about Patrick's daughter, Daphne. Has it been nine months yet? It has not. It's oh. only been a few weeks. Perfect. Oh, uh, that could spell bad trouble for me. It could. <laughs> I don't recall us leaving on the best of terms, at least some of us. Yeah, because then we get paid. We left. Somebody got paid, uh, and it wasn't Patrick. Ooh. Haggis and Felix had a thing for Daphne and created quite the uproar. Uh, <laughs> and there was the issue of drinking from the till. And the issue of collecting rent for a room that didn't belong to us. That is true. From a very potent looking bishop type. Hmm. But uh, by all means, maybe he's forgotten in the last 12 days. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I, I vote straight to Cragwich. Yeah, uh, yes. yeah. I could. A second, I, third. It. Yeah, I'm in favor of that. Yeah, you know, I just try to bring a little venture in your loser's life so we can get a good part. Ah, there's some harshness here. There's you a, know what, Robert, you and Felix make your own detour. Take Haggis with you. I'm sure it'll go over fine. I didn't do anything there. I didn't even drink the wine from the still. I didn't touch the farmer's daughter. I, 
My, did I set the place on fire though? I don't know. I no, you set, no, you didn't set the place on fire. Oh. You didn't set the place on fire. Yeah. I never know anymore. There's so many buildings, so many fires. So many it's things so to do. It will take you approximately, <coughs> excuse me, five days if you're willing to take the shortcut across the uh, farmland. If you're interested. I got my zombie. If you don't want to go see uh, Patrick's Roadhouse. No, we're going straight there. Whatever's quickest route. That's yep. fair enough. Uh, just as you are getting ready to leave the <laughs> road, you see a rather large ensemble. Uh, for the last couple of days, the road travel has been sparse with only a few merchants. This group, however, is loud and boisterous and seems to be towing wagons behind their mounts. Uh, the individuals are dressed in colorful attire, and very shiny material. If you didn't know any better, you'd know it was silk, but you don't know what it is. Uh, the wagons are painted in garish colors and proclaim that they are the greatest show. <laughs> oh, I totally want to watch the show. <laughs> Stop and talk to the performers. I think we saw these guys before. Wasn't uh, Felix involved with a performer? I, I think no. Felix has performed in gambling <laughs> rounds. Uh, I can't recall. A pair of individuals in white makeup on their face and arms jump off. They're undead! Attack! <laughs> <laughs> No, no, my friend. We are not undead. I can understand how you would be mistaken, but no. Ready we, a spell. We are Terrence and Tony, leaders They're of mimes. this group. They're mimes. Attack! <laughs> They've got a lot of spells at their disposal. Unfortunately, they aren't allowed to speak, so all the verbal components are out the window. Otherwise, they would have fireballed you. Uh, Terrence and Tony introduce themselves and just point out that... Uh, they enjoy the makeup. They really do. They enjoy the makeup, the mask, the wigs. Terrence picks up his wig and discovers uh, that he has blue hair underneath his red hair. Nobody's really quite sure about that. It's uh, a hideous look for him, and his charisma is at the lower end of the spectrum, much like Man Fang the Scar. <laughs> Uh, they are about ready to bed down for the night and have circled the wagons. Uh, the uh, musical performers are already tuning their instruments out here on the frontier at the crossroads of Margu. And they say, please enjoy our camp. We are but poor, but talented performers seeking our way in life. Who might you be? Dun, 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 dun. You hear banjos. <laughs> uh, Copius will stand up and declare him himself and uh, talk about his uh, exploits in the most persuasive, persuasive way possible. Of course, you've heard of us. We're famous. Haven't you heard the tale of our saving of the fine people of Cragwich? Yeah. Uh, Copius, D12 against me. Oh, this always goes well for me. Five. Four. <laughs> it worked. Did you say copious V bitters? I did. Are you copious V bitters? The third. The third? I Why, am. we have heard of your exploits. We understand that you are captain of this retinue and you have saved hundreds of lives in the Thousands. Southlands. Thousands. Thousands. That, you know, bards tend to not get all the facts correctly. No, they Thousands. don't. I've had trouble with bards. Truly. Uh, you are a giant among your little people. <laughs> and we... Did he, say captain? he did say captain. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. If you aren't willing to spend the coin to put out a publishing agent, you're just going to be regular old heroes. <laughs> uh, Copious, they ask if you have any of your enchanted wine. I you do. You I have a special blend. That I just made up on the last stop. And by no, the we way, understand. Was... We understand that this improves charisma. Yes, look what it's done for him. <laughs> it, uh, it's not a miracle drug. Uh, it's okay. not snake oil. 
uh, Copious, uh, Terrence and Tony are going to take you right into the middle and give you a grandiose uh, introduction and a round of applause will be heard by the other performers as they all nod in admiration. Uh, one of them uh, even willingly goes up to, and we will see, a leaf and go, so what's it like to be traveling with a famous person? <laughs> well, I don't know, why don't you ask the other ones? <laughs> uh, August, uh, what's it like to be traveling with the famous Copious V Bitters? I don't know. Why don't you ask the other one? <laughs> At this point in time, the performers are a little bit puzzled. Uh, needless to say, they go back to tuning their instruments, as you would. Uh, uh, Noodle, Robert, Felix, Haggis, and Leaf, uh, while Copious is receiving a hero's welcome for some reason. Uh, what would you guys like to do? Stay to the outside of this party. <laughs> Keep an eye. Absolutely. I'll do the same because damn gypsies will rob you. They'll rob you. I'll, I'll just follow them. I guess. Felix and Haggis? I'm going to kind of inch over towards the, you did say circle their wagons. I assume that was a metaphor, but they got to be traveling with something. I'm going to go and kind of snoop around the wagon, see if there's anything that my light fingers might be able to get off of them. Thieves, thieves. You gotta love it. Mm -hmm. August? I just want to be the loser at the party. Just sit my drink in the corner, you know? Fair enough. Uh, Copious, uh, they are locked into you. They want to hear <laughs> your side of the great tale. Uh, they have heard several retellings uh, by a bard whose name escapes them, uh, mm -hmm. but they want to hear it from the master's lips. So they build a makeshift stage with some of their trunks pop you up on top of it and encircle you in rapt attention in doing so felix will gain advantage on two things felix first roll at advantage perception second roll at advantage investigation rolling right now Now, at advantage, I roll them twice, correct? Correct, and take the highest result. <laughs> you would get caught. Perception was a 10. And what was the second one? Investigation. 14. <laughs> and that was two rolls. Wow. Two rolls for a 10 and a 14. That is, imp you are rolling a D20, right? Not like a D12 or something. Yes. <laughs> uh, your perception fails you as you miss the bearded lady coming up behind you, but your investigation does succeed as you spy a rather nicely gilded trunk in the back of one of the wagons. But again, uh, perception failing you, you do not notice that you are being tailed uh, until you feel an index finger slide seductively down the back of your spine and you hear a husky voice say, hello, handsome. Good evening. How are you doing this evening? As you turn around to the seductive voice, you realize that she has a very full beard and mustache. Uh, it is adornly... Uh, it is adorned in beads, very colorful, and her appearance is rather shocking to you. Uh, but otherwise, her charisma would have seemed rather impressive. It's just the physical attributes that have got you stunned. Go ahead and D12 against me, please. Alex, just think black beard with, uh, you know, boots. Five. Nine. Uh, you do not find her attractive. Ooh. This is going to be <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm sorry. I know for a fact Felix is not that discerning. That's true. Uh, what brings you to my wagon? Uh, did did you was... know that I enjoy exotic people? <laughs> oh, interesting. I was merely looking for the restroom. 
and I thought it would be just beyond your wagon, but I uh, can clearly see it's never mind. <laughs> on your face. Well, I have used the third tree from the left. <laughs> Thank you. And that is the men's room, I assume. Get it, Ray! <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> I will be on my way. Uh, give me another perception check as you wander away. Not natural 20. Uh, you hear a familiar sound. Sounds like somebody's rolling some bones. Oh, for sure. Let's go look around to see where that is coming from. You'll find it from the next wagon around, uh, and it is a quartet of individuals rolling a very unusual set of dice that appears to be molded out of gold. Uh, Haggis, crap stain, d12 against me, please. Very much. Uh, you are not being left alone as a female. <laughs> Ish <laughs> <laughs> approaches you. She is got body odor, raggedy hair and is generally repulsive with a charisma of three. She sits down next to you and then scooches closer to you. You better get up and move. It's a stranger. It's supposed candy. Do I find her attractive? Uh, D12 against me. Nine. Eleven. Strangely, you do. You're <laughs> a sick man. Uh. The beer goggles are effective. Uh, moving up now, Leaf, were you with Noodle and Robert or somewhere else? Just kind of standing out there with, with, with Noodle and Robert, not got, getting into the mix of it. You guys are approached by two individuals. <clears throat> One is a male, and the other is a female. Uh, no, uh, well, I don't know. Let's, let's see. No kidding. Uh, both individuals are extremely attractive. Uh, both individuals look exactly the same. Only one of them has long hair and breasts. Uh, these are identical twins. The breasts aren't on the woman, though. That's the truth. <laughs> uh, they are very attractive and very personable. And they ask you... Uh, Stuff we've heard about this guy. Real or crap? <laughs> <laughs> I got a roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 75% crap. Hmm. Well, the bard that we listened to gave several renditions of the story, uh, but each one seemed to end the same way, pitching the individual's wares. Uh, so he is a brewer or he is not a brewer? Oh, he is most definitely a brewer. He's an excellent what? brewer, but he's no hero. <laughs> so he did not s discover the secret behind the towns? We all discovered the secret behind the towns. That was a team effort. Mm. He discovered the secrets behind the towns beneath the uh, Druid skirt. Yes. Interesting. Uh, Copious, I, I assume that you are doing a, a, a rather inflated uh, revision of your own uh, account of the heroism involved. Oh, most definitely. He, he and Copious is sucking this up like it's a vacuum cleaner. He's just the, his pride is swelling. He is just preening for these folks. Give me a persuasion check and I'll let you have an advantage since they already think you're something special. Fumble, fumble, fumble. <laughs> nice try. 25. Damn. Oh, they are hanging on every word. It's. <laughs> you have. You, they are. They're 
licking your hand. I mean, they aren't eating out of it. They're they are licking it. They are just amazed. Felix, uh, the quartet of eh, kind of salty looking dudes are playing. Uh, each has a uh, wad of coins in front of them on this rickety table uh, with a red and white checkered tablecloth for some reason. Yeah. Uh, the as uh, I alluded to before, the dice are gold, but the pips themselves are little silver skulls. Are you interested in this? I am interested in this. It's been a while since I've thrown some bones. Are you any good? Uh, you know, the dice, they are cool, mistress. <laughs> they have their good days and their bad days. Hmm. That's an honest man right there. That's yep. right. My, there's nothing to dispute that. Um, would you like to have a seat? The buy-in is two gold pieces. Two We're, gold pieces? Two gold. We're big spenders here. Sure, we, we I will a have a seat. Day. That donkey was nice to ride at least one day for him. <laughs> oh, don't, get, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, are you going to use your loaded dice? Yes, I am. I don't think that my character realizes that they're loaded, though. Uh, you are an exquisite gambler, so you would have that understanding. Uh, you are going to be rolling two d6s. I have uh, purples, reds, whites, and greens. You will be rolling against them you may give yourself a re-roll of one of those dice when you throw them. Fair enough? You have loaded dice. The high roll wins. Oh, shit, that's a lot of ones. <laughs> he fumbled, didn't he? Now he's rolling dice. Up. Nine. Eight is the best I can do. I rolled a lot of ones. Uh, well done, stranger. Well done. Those are mighty fine dice he's got there. Not as fine as ours. Real gold. Here mm. for another throw for two more gold. Yes, let's go one more. Make it interesting. Let's your make donkey. it interesting. Put up the zonkey. Put it no. up. <laughs> Uh, let's just go straight up. The night is still young. As you wish, our, my good man. Oh, is that dead? Oh, brown eyes. Seven's the best I can do. Well, you are, you are one lucky gambler. You yes. should be the one up on the podium instead of that short shit pitching his ale. <laughs> yes, I would completely agree. We are traveling together and don't believe his lies. He bends the truth. What? You mean he is not the hero of Snowf that we've heard so much about? The no, slayer of humans? I understand he, he killed there. a dragon. <laughs> it's all just a tale. He was there, but he was just recording notes in his little journal and thinking up new beer recipes. It, trust me, you can't believe everything that he says. We trust you entirely, my friend. Anybody who rolls the bones like you cannot be wrong. How about one more throw? <laughs> sure. Huh. Uh-oh. Hmm. All four of them got 12. I only got a seven. <laughs> you you look down and it's nothing but box cars. <laughs> Interesting. All, all of them. <laughs> well, my friend, it seems that your luck has run out. Well, like I said, you can't be lucky every day. How about one more roll? No, I think <laughs> I would switch while I'm ahead on this one. You know. We saw what you wrote up on, and that is a beautiful animal. Wow. Thank you. I like it as well. Have a good evening, gentlemen. Oh, what about, would you be interested in selling it? No, I have a long journey ahead of me, and I do not wish to walk it. Where My legs it? will be tired the next morning. Well, thank you very much for playing. We appreciate it. <laughs> and thank you for the tip on the short one. Yes. <clears throat> Over to Haggis, crap. 
over to Haga's crap stain. Uh, she continues to scoot closer to you, and the halitosis from her breath is rather pungent. Uh, but for some reason, <laughs> you do not seem to mind at all. Uh, she talks to you and uh, wants to know about your part in the heroics in Snowf. That's that's the. I played a good part in the whole journey. You know. Did you slay anything of fantastic or noteworthiness? Yes. <laughs> tell tell me, I am interested. But one of her eyes kind of. Wanders <laughs> off. Where? And that I know. Her, I know her mother. <laughs> But she's I, she's got your she you've got her eating out of the palm of your hand. I'm all right. I'm all right. You know, no, I'm literally thirsty. she's eating out of the palm of your hand. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just good. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I have to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. You know? Okay, I will be right here waiting for you. I never come back. I just leave. <laughs> 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 think about it. Just is mine. No thought. And when she gets she gets back to school tomorrow, she's gonna tell all her friends. That's right. There's gonna be social media outcry. Leaf, Robert, Noodle, Felix, and Haggis, uh, you hear a dinner bell ringing just as Copious V Bitters wraps up the story about how he killed some kind of giant elemental or some kind of crap like that. I'm not sure. Something he killed something rather large and intensive while he was on the road alone after his friends abandoned him. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but there is a dinner bell and a large pot is being wheeled out on a small cart. Everybody seems to be quite hungry and uh, they form a line. Would you There's guys like humans. to enter the line? I've seen Conan. There's humans in that pot. <clears throat> Should I take a sip? Just the hand. <laughs> And it's green for whatever reason. Not 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 red. Green. I think it was St. No. Patrick's Day shooting as well. Ah, so uh, um, it appears as though it's a potluck dinner. Uh, and copious, you are not given the choice. Uh, both Terrence and Tony uh, hook up your arms, and they're like, "You get to eat at the front of the line." Have a taste. Uh, no, I I'm t I'm down with that. Uh, I might uh, you know on occasion just give a little tug or make sure all my money bags are still tucked away that, that's but, fair uh, <laughs> yes i'm i'm good with going to the head of the line <laughs> give me a perception check is on the oregon trail he's dying <laughs> uh i have 11 uh you don't feel any unusual uh tugs you do feel quite a few pat on the backs and yes yes let the hero up there uh you get to the head of the line and there's just a stack of bowls terrence hands you one uh and then he and tony also grab one and they're after you honored guest first well, one served. take the bowl and i'll taste it and i'll i'll just uh you know fall over myself to, to say what a fine repast uh, they've provided uh, how much it tastes better than anything i tasted on the road Give me a uh, constitution check to see how you really like it. I fumbled. It's crap. <laughs> I, I, it must be roadkill because you do not like it. But you bring smiles to their faces uh, with your adoration of their fine culinary skills. Uh, they, let us introduce you to our mother. Mother. Oh, mother. Uh, and if you've seen the Goonies... You know what this lady looks like. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Fertelli comes out, uh, deaf in one ear, blind in one eye. Uh, Terrence and Tony scream at her, telling her that the famous copious V-Bitters enjoys her food. Uh, <laughs> she takes one look at you, copious, and says, Thanks. <laughs> and walks away. Uh, the rest of the retinue each jump into line. Anybody here want to try Mrs. Fertelli's famous soup? No. I'm going to tell them all it's good. Uh, go ahead and do deception checks, everybody, to see if you buy Copious's line. 
deception from your skills. <coughs> Eleven. Side draw roll. Twenty-one. Roll twenty sided though. Yes. Twenty. Natural twenty. Eighteen. What was it? Eighteen. Uh, 18, 20, and 21 know that copious speed bitters is full of crap. Felix and Haggis, he looks like he likes it. And this was for Telly. It looks like she probably eats. <laughs> uh, Haggis, uh, you notice your lovely young thing searching the crowd for you. You yeah. might want to duck into line and hide. Uh, Felix, the gamblers have ended their game and they are also getting in line. And they seem to be laughing about an inside joke. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get up in line right behind them and just say, you know, that last rule that you had with me, that was quite an impressive rule. Thank you. Uh, we believe in the goddess of luck. And uh, truth be told, eh, we each said a prayer to her. Mm, yes, it was much deserving. Hmm. You should worship her. Uh, the goddess Fortuna is the best. I've noticed those are very interesting dice you were throwing. Might I uh, take a look at them a little bit closer? They were very interesting. Sure. Hands them over to you. Do I notice anything about them? Give me perception or give me investigation. 13. They, they're a little bit off, uh, but you surmise that the skeletal or skull-like pips uh, probably do that. But for some reason, putting two and two together, you would think that have, having six pips uh, would mean the one would come up a lot more. So you don't see anything out of the ordinary. You don't feel that they are loaded they do not feel like yours <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm just i'll just uh say something like ah oh, these are very nice dice where did you come by them oh we bought them in cragwich from, from a local dealer interesting what was the name of that local dealer i'm pete's pips <laughs> pete's pips he is also a follower of fortuna and if you take them over to the chapel several blocks away, uh, the high priestess will bless them for you. Ah, yes, I will have to do that when I am in Cragwich next. Thank you for letting me uh, take a look at these. I'll no, hand them back. No problem. Haggis, D12 against me. Let's see if you get spotted by your attractive female. Oh, lover boy. 11. Oh, yeah. She spots you. <laughs> and she sticks to you like glue and even hands you a bowl. I got you a bowl. I noticed you didn't have one. <laughs> I'd eat the porridge over being next to her. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll eat it. Yeah, why not? I'll give you a constitution check. We're looking at a five. Yeah. Copious lied. <laughs> You're pretty sure you found a band aid in this soup. <laughs> That's no band aid, son. <laughs> Don't worry, the wort soup is probably not going to be fatal. Leaf, Noodle, and Robert, uh, you guys have stood off. Uh, your attractive companions have wandered off to go ahead and get in line. And you can't help but notice how muscular they are, and you're kind of puzzled as to what position they would hold in this set of performers. Uh, as you watch the festivities, several bonfires are lit, and the musicians again take out their instruments and begin to play a jaunty tune. Uh, it's going to be sing-along time. You may continue to remain within the safe circle of wagons, or you may go out with your zonkeys uh, outside of the circle. What would you guys like to do? Are we being attacked or something? I'm sorry, I had to take a phone call there. Nope, not nope. being attacked. Okay. I plan on staying close to my zonkey. Yeah, I'm going to go get back to my zonkey. Those gamblers were eyeing it pretty hard. 
I'm going to stand next to mine and hug it the entire time. Well, not really hug it, but like put an arm on it. I was always been told never to trust trust circus folk. They got some candy. They smell like cabbage. <laughs> Carnies. Uh, Copious, what about you? Uh, I assume I'm still the center of attention with Oh, some yes. Yeah, everybody loves you. Yeah. Unfortunately, Copious has a weak spot, and it is his prickly pride. There's no way he's going to walk away from the attention. That's fair. The good news is uh, one of your associates has decided to join you. It must be Haggis. <laughs> which, which associate's joining me? Leaf the Druid is wandering oh. on up to you, and he's sitting next to you. Oh, welcome aboard, Leaf. Welcome aboard. Where am I? <laughs> You're with your zonkey. With my zonkey. Mm -hmm. But I see Leaf next to me, right? Correct. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Leaf, I was, I'm going to point out, Leaf, I was just regaling them of the story of my triumph in Cragwich and in uh, Shof or whatever it was. So so <laughs> uh, Leaf points out he was the man. He he made us all look good. Give me a perception check, Copious. Yeah, that would have raised some for <laughs> 21. Yeah, there's no way Leaf is going to buy into this bullshit that you're the hero. <laughs> there's something wrong. I think he's been drugged. Ah, so <clears throat> Leaf, would you like some of my special brew? I know how much you like it. I don't like it. I love it. This is the finest brew available. <laughs> okay, I definitely appreciate that fact. No lie there. Uh, so I'm going to suggest, let's go back to my Zonkey so I can get you some of the special brew that you no, like. Oh, no, no, no. These people, you cannot leave your fans. These people want to hear more about the, the hero of Snowf. You, oh. cannot, you cannot let them go. You I cannot. won't let them go. Give Come me on, a second would, would you it. would you guys like to hear another story? And the crowd just eats oh, it out. Hey. <laughs> yes, I'll call out to Haggis to bring my special brew. Felix, Haggis, bring me my special brew. Felix, Haggis, give me perception check at disadvantage. <clears throat> Forget the special brew. Tell us a story. <laughs> Eleven. Oh. Uh, Felix and Haggis cannot hear you because the roar of the crowd drowns you out. <laughs> oh, I, I appreciate the sound effects. <laughs> Maybe Robert Robert knows of my... I'll, I'm going to look at Leaf. Leaf, go get my special brew from my zonkey. <clears throat> Leaf says, right away, boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I know I'm in trouble now. No, you don't. <laughs> uh, Noodle, Robert, Felix, Haggis, and Leaf, uh, you are doing the one hand on your zonkey to make sure that you win the zonkey of the day, and you notice that Copious V Bitters is not present. What would you like to do? Hey. Mr. Postrius can just live it up in there. He wanted to get in the middle of it, talk it out. I'll be back. When he's naked with a coin in his hand and a bad taste in his mouth, I'll pick him up off the ground and let him walk behind and scrape up the shit from my zonkey. <laughs> yeah. Felix I'm just glad that we're outdoors right now. I don't think Copius's head would fit back through the doorway if we were if he had to exit. Oh, that bubble's getting popped today. Mm. Haggis, what about you? He's too busy getting lip locked from somebody with halitosis. No, he he's he's left. He's with you guys, but she is right at the ring of the wagons, and she is just looking lovingly in his direction. I hi. Every once in a while, a seductive wink. Hey Nicholas, I'll hold your zonkey if you, you can go run. <laughs> That's gonna follow us from there on out. I just get this. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. You're staying with us? Yeah. I can hold the zonkey while you're running. You're not, you're not curious about Copus? I'm all right. He, he can, he's fine. That's why. He's, he's a hero. He's fine. Listen to him. The crowd's going wild. <laughs> they love him out there. He's trying to get us to, I'm not, 
<laughs> the uh, the music seems to be increasing in tone and speed. It's almost a dizzying tune, one might say. Copius, why don't you roll me a wisdom save? <laughs> Uh, 20 or wait 19 sorry uh something's coming over you you aren't quite sure what it is whether it's mama for telly's Ow. wonderful soup or something's yeah. going on uh leaf returns and points out uh the others uh, are uh, working diligently to get the right amount of beverages ready for them don't worry boss it'll be here in a minute that that's great. Oh, hold on a second. I think I may be Tell able us to get another it. story, Copious. <laughs> I, well, I'll start. I'll start my story. But as I'm starting my story, I'm going to cast a spell at the same time. Okay. Uh, unseen servant. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, now there, I've got two different actions. If one, because I've never used a spell before, Jim makes the ruling. Let me know. One, I'm going to see if I can't use the unseen servant to try to signify to my comrades maybe something's amiss by sending them to um, communicate, you know, throw things off a pack mule, do something that would communicate uh, an issue, you know, align my goods from my zonkey to point back and go, help, 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 SOS, as just like Gilligan's Island, palm trees on the ground on the beach, SOS. Uh, is that a fair use of unseen servant? You remember how well that worked for Gilligan, don't you? Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm hoping 30 years you later, you got <laughs> Okay, that's fair. Uh, how about uh, write help in the uh, pelt of your zonkey? Sure. Uh, Noodle, Robert, Felix, Leaf, give me perception checks, please. Is Haggis coming back? This band is dark, right? I assume so. He must have, <laughs> the computer must have dropped on him. Gotcha. Nine. Dark. What was it? Perception. Sixteen. Nat twenty. I'm rolling good today. Leaf. Sorry. Seventeen. Uh, the nat twenty. You know everybody, but Robert. I think no. The nine. The nine wouldn't work either. Uh, for some reason there's a message being scrawled in the side of one of the zonkeys. Copious, uh, give me an intelligence check, please. This is the time to fumble. 17. In bold uppercase letters, you see an H. an E. Copious, tell us another story. <laughs> and both uh, Terrence and Tony move in a little bit and get the old creepy face going. <laughs> hey, little girl. Have I got a story for you. <laughs> Wait, help me, wait, help me find my dog. No, so just I'm starting to get the creepy vibe, but are they still playing up to his ego? Because Copius, his his entire vulnerability has always been his ego, either being bruised or being massaged. There's it's no in between. But uh <laughs> they are laying it on thick. <laughs> so he'll start, he's still got the back of his head. He's going, All right, what let's take a a, a look around. What's my environment look like? Do I have an exit? They I seem to have not. closed in around you so okay. that they could all hear better. <laughs> so let me try. Uh, so this, uh, let's say Fay presence uh, is a 10 foot cube around me. So if they're all around me and I cast Fay presence, theoretically. You'll get most of them. That would catch most of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see. Question is. Um, Try to charm them and let me get my drink to win or scare them back a little bit. I'm going to try with the scare them if I'm starting to get the vibe, just the, the sense that I'm very more powerful than they realize kind of thing. You're going to presence. incorporate it into your recitation. Story. Oh, and, very and part nice. of the recitation that just how frightening I am when I'm when I'm angry, 
angry, malign. A real Hulk, Dr. Banner kind of moment here. Gotcha. Uh, Felix, uh, the others have pointed out to you and Haggis uh, the parting of the hairs on the zonkey as each of you watch the letters unfold. Uh, you you are yelling out answers like you're playing Pictionary. <laughs> he he, man, hero, uh, Herodias, uh, 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 L L hell, hello, hello. <laughs> we're, all, we're all going to hell. Hell. Uh, uh, I, I don't know what it is. Finally, the final letter appears, and it's help. Everybody, give me an intelligence check. I'm failing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored. I'm going back to bed. The stupidest thing on earth with the biggest scar. I'm not the stupidest. I got 12. No, you didn't. You got a nine. <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry. 14. I, much. I got a 10. Oh, uh, unfortunately, Haggis has gotten a 14 and he goes, help. On Copius's zonkey. The zonkey? Copius is stuck inside of his zonkey. We gotta cut him out. We gotta cut him open. Uh, Haggis points out to you guys. Uh, Kobius might be in trouble. I know he's stuck inside the zonkey. Let's butcher it. Inside the zonkey. Uh, what's my save, Kopius? Uh, it uh, is. I believe that's a wisdom save. Correct. I believe so. Uh, so if it's using my spell save, it, it'd be uh, uh, 14. I have four dice. I will cut them in uh, quadrants. Huh. Yeah. 14, you say. 13, 15, 17, and 17. Uh, one group leaps back at the recitation in fear. The others move in because this is really good. <laughs> and they just keep. <laughs> Does anybody else have one of those Circus of the Damned feels? Or is it just me? Oh, no, they're, they're out with their zombies. <laughs> We're watching entertainment tonight on your. <laughs> so, uh, Haggis, you, uh, you have correctly solved the puzzle uh, and won the $5,000 on the big wheel. Uh, would you like to go check on Copius or would you like to try and get the others to not cut open his zonkey? <laughs> <laughs> well, it came from the zonkey, so I want, kind of want to look at the zonkey and see if it's all right. You know, uh, That is a fair assessment. <laughs> I, I rolled a 10. I feel like I'm just playing it right. That's kind of stupid. Well, Leaf and Felix <laughs> bounced theirs. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys examine this zonkey. Uh, Copius, is there, what was plan B on the Unseen Servant? Um, so the my special brew is that cask of uh, whiskey spirits that I had in the basement. I stuck the uh, a venom sack from that creature that we killed in it. <clears throat> so it uh, has the uh, the paralysis venom that was from the uh oh what was the creature from last or the carrion crawler the carrion yeah. crawler i stuck it inside that that uh whiskey glass so i was going to pour a shot to all of them if i if i got the chance especially terrence and philip as you notice the crowd is uncomfortably close <laughs> i mean they are you can feel hands upon your back as you tell this story you are in trouble you don't need an insight check you know there's a problem your unseen servant fed up with the inability to solve the easiest puzzle has gone over cracked open the cask and is carrying the poison sack ever so gently towards you give me a perception check uh, 11. You see the floating sack of poison, which you recognize. Of course, you don't see the unseen servant because it is unseen. <laughs> However, the unseen servant cannot break through the crowd. And every once in a while, out of the corner of your eye, you catch an irregularity 
in their faces. Um, so just to clarify, so the uh, my command to the unseen servant would have been to bring the cask, not the the. Uh, the oh, thing. okay. So, so yeah, you see the floating cask. Because I had an entire marketing plan for that stuff. I was going to mix that right up with some whiskey and say like a knock it on your butt kind of whiskey. So. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting. That, take. That, that snake in a whiskey bottle type uh, whiskey. It was, it was definitely going to be that way. Yeah. For your, for your every ailment. <laughs> so leaf, Haggis, Felix, noodle, Robert, give me perception checks, please. Sure. Eight. Plus two. Ten. Eighteen. Not natural. Twenty. Uh, Plus two. Sixteen. Sixteen. Son. I'm not that. Twenty-four. Uh, noodle, leaf, <laughs> Haggis, Felix, what is going on with the cask? And you just see the cask of Copius's ale leaving the zonkey and moving off in midair, headed back in towards the ring of wagons. Looks like some oh. in, one of them invisible carnies is stealing booze. <laughs> this is Copius. What? What a jerk. He wants us to be his servants and carry his stupid booze in there to regale his friends about us, about his hero's journey. We got to talk about Copious is inside this freaking zonkey. Hello? He's not in a zonkey. Copious, you're thinking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Copious, inside the ring of people, the crowd goes immediately silent. I mean, nothing. <laughs> there aren't even crickets going on. And this small child out at the periphery of the ring walks up Ugh. and the crowd kind of parts for her. Oh, now, this little girl <clears throat> is maybe, maybe eight years old. No, but, she, but she seems to be unusually focused on you. You can see her dark eyes twinkling in the firelight and all of the performers here go rigid. They, they, it's not a fae looking right? It's kind of like shit evil looking. <laughs> <laughs> Arch, arch. Uh, un unfortunately, you are hemmed in like a keyhole. Uh, you are hemmed in, and you're going to have to fight your way through this zombie-esque crowd or deal with Penelope. Oh, God, Penelope. Evil if there ever was a name. Um, so just in curiosity, when we progress to level four, Mm -hmm. And you said we have to work for it. Is there any aspect of our advancement that we're not going to have to work for to start this evening's festivities? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and give you guys all of your level four abilities and your hit points. So, you oh, that doesn't bode well at all. You'll that probably makes me think, need it. <laughs> well, that's why it didn't bode well at all. Okay. All right. So just to clarify for the, the, uh, uh, GM DM here. Um, I I did go with a, a, a packed uh, the uh, for a warlocks a pact of the weapon, whatever that one is. So that is my actual pact. Uh, so if I am now feeling particularly uh, frightened, which seems to be the case, uh, I am going to ready a spell. And then execute that spell and uh, pretty darn quickly here. Um, On little Penelope, who's just clapping? Uh, yeah. No, my spell, I'm going to ready in my mind a different spell. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, how's that how's that fame and fortune working for you <laughs> about like i expected it would to be honest with you welcome to is. frank island <laughs> <laughs> it was good while it lasted it really boosted the old ego the daiquiris uh, were tops <laughs> i got a free bowl of slop out of it 
Uh, da, da, da. Okay. I got some now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ready the spell that I picked for my class up upgrade. Okay. Uh, misty step. Nicely done. Which direction would you like to misty step out of? Um, the direction where the crowd pushed away from me was that towards the direction of the zonkeys, away from the zonkeys. How was it in relation to it? They are encircled around you with little Penelope, so it's like a keyhole. Okay, Penelope at the bottom. Yep. And the zonkeys are where relative to the keyhole? Outside of the ring to your right, the left. Okay, so I'm going to try to misty step that way, but I'm holding the spell in anticipation. I want to see what Penelope has to say, because, you know, uh, he has no much curiosity. He can't help but sit here and listen, especially if it's a good performance. That's fair. Uh, so you're holding the misty step, correct? Yep, holding okay. the misty step. Back to everybody else. Uh, that damn copious is going to give away your alcohol. What do you want to do? Oh, Haggis, uh, your friend is standing in between two wagons. Just watching, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna follow the bottle. Is she part of the others? With what others? Like, is she with the crowd? Uh, you can't see the crowd. They're in the ring. The okay. wagons are circling them. Okay. Also, you guys will notice. Hey, all that loud music's gone. Ugh, must be telling another one of those stupid loud. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the, bed. <laughs> what was it? The cask that's kind of floating away. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go over to it and try to prevent it from floating away. I don't want them, I don't want him sharing our booze with these gypsies. Poke a, yeah. a, well, a hole in it. Give me a grapple hole in it. Give me a grapple attempt. Man, I just had the option to upgrade a grapple. Ooh. Does that get any modifiers or is it straight up? Strength. Uh, you know what? I'll give you strength or dexterity. If you want to wrestle it away, it'll be strength. If you want to just snatch it out of midair, dexterity. Uh, let's snatch it. And it's a 22. Uh, the Unseen Servant rolled an 8 uh, with no modifiers. Uh, you now have the cask. However, you are in very close proximity of Haggis's new love interest. <laughs> Gonna grab that cask with a little bit of you know anger and look at her and realize it and say, oh, "Don't be so shy. Go over to him." Give me a perception check. Ooh, twenty-three. There is the smell, or not smell, stench of death coming from inside the ring of wagons, and it is abundantly clear to you. Now that you've moved, abundantly clear. How far away am I from my party? From everyone else? Did I have to? About twenty-five feet. Okay, I'm gonna signal to them like because uh, I'm starting to put two and two together. The the help message. I'm gonna wave them over here like, gosh, come here. August's gonna... love interest goes. <laughs> Haggis, she's calling for you. I, I, I invite the love interest over to us. She does not move from the ring. Okay, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk back over to my party with this cast, set it down by the zonkey, and whisper to them, something's wrong. You it, think? You know, <laughs> it I think something is happening with Copious. Yeah, he's alive. Oh no, yeah. not something good. Come over here. Come take a whiff of this. Whoa, no, I and played it, that game. It wasn't me this time. I'm not falling for it. <laughs> the, the cask of ale is again rising in midair and headed over to Haggis's love interest. I'm gonna set it on fire. I'm gonna wait, wait, no, no. I grab it. I grab it before he... What the I'm hell? I'm running. 
Uh, yeah. Are you Did setting something... Haggis's love interest on fire or the cask? I think it's the cask. Soon to be everything in a 30 <laughs> foot diameter. Back to copious Penelope. I got to live up to my name. Stops her clapping. You are the hero we have heard about. Yeah. Come. <laughs> Come to me. I have a special reward for your eternal hero heroism come to me i'm okay where i'm at to me now (laughs) really good where i'm at (laughs) and the the flames from the bonfire i I don't know it looks like they're growing (laughs) i mean and the the deep guttural voice uh now you're Faye, right? Faye, Pat yeah. Faye. Pat Are you Pat immune Pat. to fear? Uh, I have a sa- advantage on saving throw. Give me a saving throw. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see, nineteen. Your blood runs cold, but you keep your head about you, and you kind of. I'm in a deep shit trouble. (laughs) Indignant that you are not approaching her. She straightens her clothes and slowly marches towards you. But her pace seems to be quickening exponentially. (laughs) And she's running. (laughs) You're going towards the zonkies, right? Towards the zonkies. I need a D6 roll, please, because there are three pathways out, but one of them is blocked by Haggis' girlfriend. Five and six. Uh, you blink out and blink in behind Haggis' girlfriend, who turns around, <sighs> fangs <laughs> drop down, her eyeballs roll back into her head and she begins to advance on you and will attack. Uh, Felix, you have moved back with the group. Uh, all of you hear the hissing and screaming of this creature uh, and you hear the loud thunder of a horde coming. Uh, Copious, there are going to be two attacks against you, one from in front and one from behind. Love interest goes with 12 plus 3, 15. Knocking you back for a 14 plus 3, 17. And a golden lasso wraps around you as you get slashed by the little girl for... Freaking Wonder Woman? Almost. Yep. Two hit points, a rope of entanglement has been thrown at you, and you've dropped to the ground just as the little girl oh. slashes you. <laughs> Felix, Noodle, Robert, Leaf, Haggis, everybody roll initiative. It's go time. What's this estimate of the crowd we're facing right at the moment? 15. <laughs> oh, 16. Seven. 14. 19. Eight. <laughs> nice throw. At least I beat somebody. <laughs> 19. Uh, Copious gets wrapped up by a rope and yeet, drug out of your eye <laughs> line. He's going back into the ring. <laughs> uh, you are up. There are three avenues back into the ring. One of them is guarded by Haggis's girlfriend. I think I'm going to deal with her first. Uh, I'm still back at the Zonkey, so a little bit farther away than I'd want to be. So sounds like it's a nice time to use an arrow. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Sorry, Copious. You're going to die. <laughs> oh, it was a one. Oh, <laughs> my Sadly, Copious is out of your view, so that beloved bowstring of yours is in two pieces. Uh, That weapon is now useless to you. Uh, Let's go with the 17. Batter up. That's me. 
Uh, how about how here? We're pink. <laughs> Are we about 60 foot? Uh, you're about 40 feet. 40 feet? Yep. Uh, and these wagons have uh, the wood around them is wrapped by metal, right? Uh, wood and canvas. Think Conestoga. Gonna burn it? But I just meant they have metal. Like, yeah, they're, they're, I'm sure there's metal on there somewhere. Right. Because no. I'm going to heat that metal. Fair enough. Going to start the fire? Uh, yeah. There are three wagons. Give me a D6 because one of those wagons has some very flammable liquid in it. Oh, that's the one I'm looking for. Oh, my God. I rolled a one. You got the wrong one, but you did get the textile one. So those silks are going to go up awful quick. Uh, let's go with the 16 leaf. I'm going to. Two more tries. Aim. Is there anybody in front of between me and uh, August's girlfriend? No, not currently. I'm using the poison spray. Okay. <laughs> fair enough. We all know how this goes. Yeah. Let's see. I have to roll to hit that thing. AC eight. 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 Thirteen. Damage. Uh, it's a die twelve. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think there's any pluses to that, is there? Uh, your spell oh, modifier. Spell. Oh, okay. Well, that's 15. Uh, little Amanda is dead. Sizzles and falls into a heap. Uh, 14. Scarface. Sorry. All right. Um, how fat? So, yeah, yeah, I got a bow. It worked real well for Felix. <laughs> I'll, use, I'll do it for him. Here. I'll use my longbow. Against who? Yeah. Can you see anybody's where he's getting at? Huh? You can't see anybody. Oh, great. Then I'll try and run over there and hit him with some great axe then. Aren't you a 40? No, I'm a 30. Okay, uh, you'll get within eyesight, uh, and as you breach the perimeter of the wagons, you see copious vol bitters being dragged by unseen means across the grass, hopping along, and a horde of similar-looking little banshees, uh, white eyes rolled back, their skin has changed gray, their clothing has changed to gray, and they focus in on you. Copious is being dragged towards a seemingly innocent little girl. <laughs> you might need to save that little girl from Copious. I know. He's going to hurt her. Copious, what was your initiative role, by the way? At disadvantage? Nah, we'll go straight up because uh, I just want to see if you can get out of the bonds. 18. Uh, go ahead and give me a strength roll, please. <laughs> Oh, 18. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so Noodle has uh, fractured the ring, gone inside, and seen certain death. Uh, the zombies turn on him <laughs> and head his way. Uh, two of them will arrive to attack. The others, shambling along, will not. Uh, Copious, as you hit a rock, you... Flex your heroic muscles and manage to pop the rope uh, apart, causing you to do the dirt roll, but you are now free. Give me a dex check to see if you spring up in a heroic fashion. Uh, nine. You do not. <laughs> uh, Noodle, there are two zombie-esque creatures on you. Uh, Twelve is the best I can do. Uh, no, it did not hit me. Okay. Uh, the pathway through the wagons is quite narrow, and Man Fang is quite large. Uh, everybody else is going to have to push him down and charge in, or go to one of the other two entrances of the wagon coliseum. We start again at the top of the order uh, with the 19. 
I think. I vote knock down Man Fang. I didn't go. Haggis. Oh, oh, oh that's right. I'm sorry. That's right. Haggis, you are up. Well, I was going to do something. In, um, can I? Um, because I'm I'm still near the Zonkeys, right? Correct. Okay. Um, from looking at oh, please write him in. Please write him. <laughs> From Copius's, uh, maybe Zonkey is. Does he have any, uh, maybe alcohol bottles? Near He's it? making Molotovs. I, <laughs> yeah. Do you? I guess. I think you do. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know where he's secreted them, even though he doesn't want any of you guys to know. Because you're chronic alcoholics and steal his <laughs> surplus. But yeah, you can. Uh, grab a Molotov cocktail and heave it at one of the wagons. Yep. One of them is already starting to go up. Okay, I'll, I'll still throw it near the crowd. Um, uh, what crowd? The circle. So you're just going to heave it blindly into the circle. I'm, uh, I'm, I'll be fine, right? Because I'm drag. I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Copious, watch this. Okay, uh, give me a dexterity throw. If it's a one or two, Copious might be in a little bit of trouble. Right. Acid breath. That's right. Dexterity? Uh, dexterity will be your modifier. That is a 19. Oh, very nice. Uh, damage is 1d6. Uh, and because it's such rumored potent alcohol, I'll even give you a plus one. So D6 plus one on damage. I want to know if I can see it as it sails over. You D6 will. Plus one, D6 plus one. Correct. That's a four. Uh, there's a human torch uh, <laughs> to your left, Copious. I'm going to scream, my babies, my babies, don't throw my babies. <laughs> It will fall on deaf ears. And if it didn't, they would probably just stop helping you. Top of the order, 19. Uh, I think I'm going to charge up past Man Fang and go attack this girl. Oh, the girl's dead. Oh, I missed that the girl is dead. Yes. Yeah, she no, was a Not blur. Penelope. No, Penelope's not Penelope. alive. Uh, yeah, Pen little, little little love interest. Yeah, Crapstain's love interest is dead. Rest, may she rest in peace. Peace. Okay. Uh, so you said there's a couple of different ways into. You can go here. left next to the flaming wagon on fire, uh, run through Man Fang in the center, oh. or cut in between two wagons that are not currently on fire. Let's go that route. It seems a little bit cooler. What is your movement speed? Thirty. You will be able uh, to wait. Thirty walking. So you want to dash? You can double your movement speed. Yeah, but I want to... Yeah, I'll dash. <laughs> but man, pull up. <laughs> I don't want to be as dandy, but uh, yeah. Uh, you uh, Are you going up to Man Fang or going to the one on fire or in between? I'll go to the one that's not on fire. Fair enough. So you're going to entry number three. You yeah. zip up. And there you, like Man Fang, get the full visual. You see copious V bitters in the hero landing pose trying to get up, a zombie-esque creature on fire shambling towards Man Fang, uh, as well as the rest of the changed uh, circus of the dead people. And then you see uh, little Wednesday Adams running towards copious like she's in scooby-doo <laughs> mm, mm, i don't like that uh <laughs> there's also a treasure wagon over there maybe you want to go after that <laughs> the child oh that's tempting i'm gonna make note of where that treasured wagon is but i think that i'm gonna work my way i assume that i'm closest to the zombies no, actually, three is going to put you closest to Wednesday Adams, Penelope. Is it possible that I can sneak up behind her and perform a sneak attack? Uh, you will not be able to attack her this round because most of your movement has been utilized. But if you roll a stealth check, I'll tell you if you can get in behind her. Well, you won't be. She, she will notice you cutting across because they have set up several bonfires. So as you leap through the bonfire heroically, ah, uh, she will spot you uh, just like uh, the Night King spotted 
her. Uh, and that is your movement. 18, copious. Uh, you've gone into superhero landing mode, and you can now get up and see uh, little lovely Penelope charging uh, forward with hate-filled eyes. Uh, so I will heroically say, uh, hey, ease up there, baby. We're going to use words on this. Okay. That's fair. Uh, so, um, <laughs> I'm well, you know, I have, I have my, uh, let's see, I've got a couple of spells. Let's, can I move and cast a spell or is it one or the other? Yes, you can. I'm going to keep backing up, but I'm going to cast Eldritch, uh, uh, or, um, agonizing blast at little Penelope as she's coming at me. Fair enough. Her AC is 15. Nat 20. Damage, damage, uh, and modifiers. Boy, nine you really put the bacon nine, on Nine, 18 plus four, 22 points. Nicely done. Uh, poor Penelope. All she Copious did. for the save. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> 17, Robert of Fire. <laughs> Well, you can imagine what I'm doing. All right, going back to bed. <laughs> My six-sided dice rolled a five. I don't know if I have to roll six-sided again to start heating the metal of another wagon. Uh, the one in the middle or the one at the very end? Let's go on the opposite end this time. Fair enough. Right where Felix ran through. Yes, I guess. I don't know. Felix, it's about to get really warm in here as he set the ale wagon on fire. Uh, 16, Leaf the Druid. Show us what you got. Sarah, can I see an unoccupied space in where the uh, zombies are at? Uh, Felix was quite fast. You can go down to three, uh, or you can go to entrance one, which should put you with the zombies as they head towards Man Fang to eat the soft flesh of the dragon scaled lizard. Well, I'll head towards one then. <laughs> Fair enough. It is on fire. It appears to be going up rather quickly because it is filled with silks. What is your movement speed? Uh, 30. If you. Uh, not completely double it, I will give you one attack against one zombie because there is a horde there versus little Penelope and Felix. Okay. 19. Easily hits a zombie. <laughs> nice hit <laughs> uh man fang scarred warrior you're yeah. up uh they are closing in on you because they are just that focused can i use acid breath yes you may all and right you, you will be able to get up to three of them yeah. good uh you have it i don't know straight oh i thought it would be in there where's that Rest, it's an action once rest five inhale in a five by 30 foot line dex oh, five by 30 yeah yeah you're gonna get a few more than that oh uh, wait is he gonna get felix copious in that okay just check it. thank you <laughs> yeah nope he's going this way you guys are that way it says dex dc 13 Half damage on success for two dice six acid damage. So, so I roll two dice six. Yeah, you can start your damage roll. I'll tell you how many of mine fail, although I don't think it's going to matter. All right, keep it on. Wait, what's my uh, DC? 13. Oh, better than I thought. Uh, uh, two of eight pass. Six of eight fail. All right, so whatever he rolled, half it, and that's the damage? For two of them. That's five. Five, five points for two of them. <laughs> one dead. One hurt. Five, 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 five. Uh, your 
acidic halitosis is burning holes in their putrid flesh, which Felix, that is where the aroma is coming from. Uh, 14 was man fang. It is now the zombies turn for a little payback. Uh, Leaf, you have two on you. 15 and 14 plus 3, 18 and 17. Do those both hit? Yes, they do. Uh, 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 eight, nine hit points of damage. Uh, Man Fang, they ain't happy with you at all. 10, 6, 22, and 18. Two of those? As they're flat, <laughs> two ones, so four damage to uh, the dragonborn. Uh, face. Let's see, Hoggis, no, yeah, Felix, uh, one to four, copious, five or six, Felix. Penelope is zoned in with a two on copious as she charges forward with. Now she looks like Wolverine. Uh, oh shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I'd rather we not see how it goes. Uh, with a natural 20, her claws rake your chest, uh, but her bite stops just short of your nose. Uh, you take. Seriously, two ones again? Uh, five damage, but uh, she leaves her claws in on you. Grapple DC 13, or she's going to wrap you up. So oh. strength modifier DC 13. I'm bald. I'm bald. Felix, you see her <laughs> launch herself, dig her claws into his sides as he howls into pain and snaps just short of his nose. Hoggis, uh, you had already run up, right? Can I do my hel uh, uh, hellacious rebuke, though, as a reaction to the, the attack? You may. You I'm, wait? I'm, uh... No, you, you can go ahead and roll the dice. Hoggis, go ahead. I'm still by the zonkeys. I, I didn't move. Oh, okay. Uh, but I, uh, I will make another cocktail and then move up again. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, make a, do you throw the cocktail? Well, I, I want to use... Um, I'm going to walk up as far as I can um, so I get a better perception on the area to where to throw. One, two, or three. Uh, what area does not look the most bright from fire? Oh, uh, two. Okay, so I'll aim at what? I'll aim at two. All right. are, are you aiming at wagon two or going into entry two to assess the situation? Um, aiming at wagon two, still oh, back. Sure. Yeah, go ahead and throw dexterity as your modifier. How much is the hellish rebuke? Thirteen points. DC uh, spell uh, DC fourteen to have. Oh yeah, sixteen. So thirteen uh, six. Still, still kind of painful. I have an eight. Congratulations, you have set the fire outside the ring o flame. <laughs> uh, no enter area two. No enter. <laughs> uh, who was in area two with Man Fang? I was. Nobody? Just Man Fang? Uh, Man Fang, somebody has cast fire behind you. Uh, and <laughs> there's just shit on fire everywhere. Um, we're, at the, we're at the top of the order with the 19. Felix, uh, you have seen your associate, Kobe as we bitters the third uh, hijacked uh, Kalima, Kalima. <laughs> <laughs> so I okay. I'm going to take both my swords and run over there and Try to let's see what happens. Uh, her AC is 15. Okay, one of them hits for a 20, uh, yeah, 24 and an 11. Yep, 24 hits. Yeah, uh, for five damage. 
Ah, uh, fair enough. Uh, let's go with the 17. Robert? I'm going to start moving up to probably the left side where nobody's entered yet. Fair enough. Uh, actually, that's where Leaf's at. Leaf's but on the left and Felix is on the right. Yeah, are you um, moving up in front of me? Felix was on the right. Uh, he It is open. Well, I'll go to the right. Dog, dog four or dog five is open. So you can go to the right. Uh, do you want to double dash? Sure. Okay. Uh, you will get into the ring of <laughs> wagons wow. and, and see just a disaster unfolding as Copius is being gutted and Felix is doing his best to save him. Uh, you skirt the edge of the fire created by Haggis in Dog 2 uh, at Noodle's back, uh, and you cannot see Leaf because the horde of zombies is just amassing in Dog 1 and Dog 2. So uh, if you have a missile weapon or magic, you can do that. Otherwise, you are done. I am done. Fair enough. Uh, 16, Leaf the Druid. Uh, the zombie-esque creatures are approaching your area and trying to... Well, they already have hitches, so... All right, I'm going to cast Thunder Wave. Nicely done. <laughs> One of my personal favorites. I've never used it, but it looks fun. It it and Fog Cloud will screw up any I scenario immediately. Literally almost selected that to learn. Not it's uh, uh, constitution safe. It's going to be ugly from here. Uh, what's the range on that? Um, 10 foot? 15 foot cube. I'll give you five. I'm glad I didn't run up behind him then. And what'd you say it was, 13? One. One saves for half. All right. Okay, I got 10. So 10 Damage. or 5? Yeah. Uh, so there's 10. Uh, 10. 10. 10. 10. And they all shot oh, oh, back oh. 10 feet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 5. Uh, they start to fall and shatter uh, under your expert tutelage. Out of the 15, there are now seven down. Uh, we move forward with the 14, Manfang. After peppering them with your halitosis, what would you like to do this round? Never use this one. I'm going to do an unarmed strike. Never okay. Use I... okay, David Carradine, do your best. <laughs> All right. That's just a straight six damage. All right. So Whoa. die. No, no. Die 20, plus 7, 14, 14, and it's a straight is. plunging. It just says 6. I think it's straight 6 points. Uh, that is enough to kill one more of them as Man Fang puts his scaly fist right through the <laughs> nose hole of one of these creatures that were once probably pretty attractive. Uh, that brings us to Hell's Mess. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, three on leaf, four on man fang. So on leaf, six, six, and eight. Are you shitting me? <laughs> <laughs> that is some horrible die rolling right there. On that is man, a pretty damn fine die rolling, if you ask me. On man fang. Let's see. Don't hit. No hit. No Jesus hit. Jesus Christ. Five. Nope. Uh, 18. Okay. That's 22 and 22. That's three hits. That's three yeah. hits. That's bad. You didn't I don't get like as that. lucky as your grand. Oh, I did not. Three, four, six, ten. Ten damage total as they pummel you with their claws. I have copious V bitters in my grasp. I am going to try and bite your neck. Because that's the only thing I can do. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. 
13 plus 6, 19. That hits. My fangs dig deep into you. 4 plus 3 is 7, and 8 more necrotic. 15 Ooh. total. Dang. That hurt. Heavy hitter, baby. Haggis crab stain. It's a mess. Who are you going to go for? Does, ha does uh, uh, Copius get a attempt to extricate D Disengage, yes. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, grapple 13. Nope. I like it. I like I the rough stuff. <laughs> I guess you can see pretty much the entire field of combat, and it is ugly. There are a couple of wagons on fire. Grass is on fire. Uh, there's There was a human torch. Uh, it has extinguished itself, uh, courtesy of man, fang, or leaf. I'm not sure which got them. Uh, you see a field of seven zombies, and one creature dive her fangs into Tiny Copius's neck. Uh, and his scream gurgles. Uh, he is also, she is also engaged with Felix. Felix, one of your attacks will be an advantage. So I, I have uh, eyes on her, right? I, I can see her. You can see her. Okay, I'll, I'll use my crossbow. <laughs> he, he said it. I want to receive this roll. All right, let's see it. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Twelve. Uh, no, uh, that, uh, chings off something, uh, but it does not hit Felix. It does not hit copious. Your bolt misses or hits, uh, but sails off painlessly back to the top of the order. Felix copious is in deep shit trouble. He's about to die. I think I might heal him just to watch him die slower. <laughs> You're muted. I'm just thinking. Gotcha. Uh, You're muted again, I think. No, yeah. I'm not. I'm not okay, muted. There you go. Oh, no. no, it's Felix. Yeah. Go ahead, okay, Felix. Yeah. So I got a question. Uh, I've got a special thing here called a sneak attack. Mm -hmm. And it says I can deal an extra uh, D6 one damage. die six mm -hmm. as long as I'm attacking at an advantage. Mm -hmm. And you said I'm attacking at an advantage this time. So if I hit one of your attacks is advantage. The other one is regular. Okay. So, yes, if you hit with the advantage, you're dealing more damage. All right. Let's do it. I'm Save gonna... Copious. <laughs> Save. <laughs> we'll, we'll put that on a water oh, tower later. It's got the strength of 10 men, apparently. The attack that was at, at advantage was a 20, natural 20. Uh, damage, damage. Backstab, backstab additions. Yeah, you're going to do some serious pain here. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Maybe you're just going to give her a manicure. That was really reassuring, speaking of Copious. <laughs> uh, that attack did 15 damage on yeah. the, the one weapon the other one i rolled uh 24 ooh for 9 damage so a total of 24 damage 51 hit points down fair enough uh ba 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 ba, ba. Yep. 16 leaf you're up i'm going to move backward to give me some space i want to cast flame spear and it takes a minute a full, a full minute? It's like yep. 10 rounds. <laughs> no way. 10 rounds? Six seconds every round. Well, that sucks. <laughs> you still well, want to go with that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> no, I'm going to cast Gust the Wind. I already got that one ready. Fair enough. Uh, I, I don't. Does, that doesn't have any damage, right? No damage, but it's going to blow them the hell away from me. That's true. If it blows on me, I'm resisting the fire, so I think it'll be good. What spell was Leaf going to cast? It took a minute. Flame something. Uh, 12, 14, and a 2. It's uh, strength. 
you're you're going against the strength. Uh, I don't know how you do that. What's your spell uh, DC? Uh, if I'm saving against anything else. Oh, DC. Oh, off my wisdom, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, my wisdom's twenty. No, no, no. But what what would I need to save against one of your spells? One of your regular spells? Uh, DC fourteen. I'm looking on my score sheet. Just give me a second. Uh, be nice if I knew what I was doing. You're fine. Uh, and Manfang is in the wings. Spell DC. Spell DC. Spell save is eight plus proficiency bonus plus wisdom modifier for a druid. So it'll be eight plus two plus seven. Well, so 17. 17. Uh, all three fail and are knocked backwards. Good. And I get jumped on 17 on my So, what, so it's Jace, you said it's, it's 8 I, I think plus it's 15. It's 15. Is mine 15? I think it it'll be 15. 15. Uh, but even so, 14 was the best I rolled. Okay. So, Jace, so. you said it's, it's 8 plus the uh, spell modifier? 8 plus okay. your proficiency plus your... Wisdom you're, bonus, basically, because you're a druid. So eight okay. plus five, I think. Yeah, my wisdom bonus was five. That spell thing is five plus my proficiency bonus, which was two. So, so thirteen. Fifteen. Right. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen all, DC save. Yeah. All three are blown back and will not be able to attack you this round. Manfang. Yes. You're muted, son. No, no, he's, no, he's not. He's fine. You're yeah, muted. No, I wasn't muted. I wasn't muted. Um, um, I think I'm just going to take another swing at another zombie. Okay. Are you punching him out or are you going to oh, swing oh, on him? I'm going to punch it so it doesn't take me as long. Go get him, Rock. <laughs> Roll. All right. Let me see if I can hit him. You ain't hitting crap. Well, no, it's plus some 15. 15. I am hitting. Oh, yeah, that hits. Six points. Six points. Six points to Terrence. Uh, that brings us <laughs> to 10. Me. Leaf. Uh, sadly, I have to pick myself up, dust myself off, and give it another go. Manfang, not so much. Uh, nat 20, a 6. A 15, and a 12. So two. One hit. He's a 16 armor class. Oh, okay. Uh, two massive damage as I punch you back. Oh, my heart. Oh. Uh, Haggis, uh, Copius is in a wee bit of trouble. Uh, Copius, have you uh, rolled to break uh, grapple yet? What? I rolled 16 to break grapple. You punch her in the throat and fall to the ground, bleeding from the neck. Hagas, you see your associate has broken the grasp. Felix is also doing some significant damage to her, uh, but it is your turn. So I, I, um, <clears throat> There's zombies if you want to just go after them instead. Well, it, it, they're most likely connected to the, to the heart. You know, patient zero. We have to... Yeah. Um, can I see her? Like... <laughs> perfectly oh yeah yeah you're right there okay you're like, you're like 20 feet away i um one of my bolts i put on the the crossbow i want to dip in a little acid from a, a previous um previous monster which one was it the weird oh okay gotcha okay That's uh it. sure uh give me just a straight up roll to make sure you don't prick your finger first <laughs> 19. Okay, yeah. Uh, you dip it in the bolt, slap it in, cock it, and let her fly. Wait, do you want me to roll a d20 now? Again? or To attack her, yeah. Okay. The first roll was to make sure you didn't prick your finger with the acid. Makes sense. Um, 21. Not uh, you hit her, uh, so do your normal damage, then add d6 for the acid damage which will really tick her off. So normal damage, a D6. 
D6 plus one, I think, and then D6 for the acid. <clears throat> okay, that's five. So total damage was... Oh. Seven. Eh, that's not bad. Top of the order. Felix, uh, your colleague has managed to extricate himself from her grasp, meaning she's going to be doing a claw bite routine on somebody. Just saying. Yeah, Mounter. I'm going to... I think I'm going to try to disengage and kind of step back a little bit. Oh, I don't oh, want oh, oh. I don't want her to be looking at me. Oof. Fair enough. <laughs> you like anything else that's female that walks in front of your path. What's wrong with little Penelope? Uh little Penelope. There's an age. Eyes of fire. <laughs> oh, that's why. She's older than you. Head can twist I'm, all the way around. There's another odor starting to override that death smell. Do you smell that? Whose turn is it? Robert of Zeppelin. It's your turn. Robert of Fire. You I, I, Robert, of fire. Robert of Fire. Robert of Fire. That changed the name of the band. Bobby Fire. Uh, I don't have anything in front of me other than what? Felix, Jason, or Felix Copius and Little Penelope. You entered with Leaf, correct? No, or no you went to the south. It, yeah. The closest one is little Penelope as you watch Felix back off for some unknown reason. Uh, Penelope is the closest Fireball. one to you. Fireball. <laughs> Ground zero. <laughs> Penelope wearing any metal? <laughs> uh, no, she is not. Does she, wait, does she have any like metal weapons? No, she does not. She's using claw and bite. All right. I'm going to... I don't. I just saw him moving out of the way, so I'm just gonna stab. That's probably what he was doing for to go ahead and let you get your licks in. <laughs> well, I think. Yeah, yeah. Bar Bards will speak of this bravery. <laughs> uh, Nineteen. Uh, easily hits her. Ten. Uh, you're carving her up. Slowly but surely. Uh, next up, Leaf the Druid. Well, gee golly whiz. I've still got the gust of wind going. Mm -hmm. I'll just let it blow. What's funny, though, is that right. this Druid bent over and the gust of wind's coming out his backside when he casts it. Hey, whatever. Hold a torch behind me. <laughs> That's what the new smell is. He's talking about what's the new smell. And Fang, you got four on you. And Fang, you got four. I know. I think it's that great act. Yeah, I'm gonna do like a this kind of swing, try and hit all of them. He's gonna decapitate all of them. I'll uh, I'll give you a regular on one, disadvantage on the second. Uh, all right. Die twenty. Okay. Natural, natural 20. twenty. Nice. And a one. There's natural twenty on his first. <laughs> <laughs> you're a dumbass <laughs> you got the worst luck son you went from one extreme to the other uh, I know you're going to kill the one that you hit unfortunately you buried your great axe into your own leg roll your damage yeah. and take half <laughs> howie no, no, no. your damage is this big 12 sided dice right here not that 6 side uh good news is that means the bad guys are up uh man fang you still got three on you i, got two. I only take one damage no you get it you rolled a four you get half of a four you now have you and you add your modifiers in there too oh so. yeah don't forget your modifiers so half of your modifiers. uh man fang 21 yeah. 21 and nine that's my Damn. Everybody's piling on. Uh, you get eight more from the zombie esque creatures. Uh, Leaf the Druid. Uh, one of them is fighting their way up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, one of them is fighting their way up to you like Moses. Uh, now let's see here since uh, Robert of Fire has engaged uh, Haggis you were using a missile weapon right you used a crossbow bolt uh, odd Robert of Fire even copious he's what's for dinner 
as Robert Mitchum would say, he's what's for dinner. <laughs> Claws are green. Uh, copper are the bite. Uh, oh, yeah. Claws get you with a 19. Uh, the bite misses you again. Give me a grapple 13 as she digs in. 15 Jeez. on grapple. Five for damage. My rolls are horrible. Uh, she cannot get you in her clutches, uh, but she does carve you up. Haggis Craft Stain, uh, Robert of Fire, and Copious V Bitters are doing their best, but they don't seem to be making much headway on this thing. Anything in my, uh, anything stopping me, like in front of me at all, from me just running up and stabbing her? Not a thing. All right, then I'll, I'll just charge up and attack her. Felix has stepped aside so that you can go ahead and get a piece of this glory as well. That's nice of him. Felix, give me a D12, please. Wouldn't it be easier at this point just to kill Copious and let her feed on him and we take off? Yeah. 15. Just, when I come back as an undead, Nine. I'm coming for you. <laughs> uh, Haggis, are you, are you attacking? Yeah, I had 15. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, that does hit. Awesome. Damage. She's easy to hit, hard to kill. Only a thousand more hit points to go. No, six hundred. Nah. Ten. Yeah. Somebody brought his A game here. Top of the order. Wait. Uh, oh, I yes. didn't go yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I went ahead. I, it's not a big deal. I'm going to chug my last healing potion. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Good to go? Yep. Robert of Fire, you're up. So does this mean Copious has a bolt stuck in him or the chick has a bolt stuck in him? Chick has a bolt stuck in her. So I can start heating that bolt up inside of her? No, it was dipped in acid and it is dissolving as we speak. Oh, damn it. I've been waiting for somebody to actually hit something. We shoot an arrow at her. All right. I'm going to stab her again. Frankie, go for a diaphragm. Yeah, I'm gonna stab her with my dagger. Keep it in her. Okay. Nineteen. Nice. Uh nineteen hits. Yep. Oh, I gotta get a one die four out. I haven't had one of these in a while. Oh. And six points of damage. Nice. Chopping her down to size. Uh, that brings us to Leaf the Druid. Is it close enough to hit now? Uh, the one is. The other two cannot get up from your All mighty right, gust I'm gonna, of ass wind. I'm going <laughs> to release my spell and swing it with my scimitar. Ass wind of doom. <laughs> 17. Hits. Come on. Something besides a one. Come on. Oh, thank God. It's a four. Uh, five. No, 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 no. Good enough. That puts it down. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Copious, I keep skipping over you. You're the 18. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to try to back up uh, away from her a little bit, get some breathing room, and hit her with Agonizing Blast again. Okay. Remind uh, me, yep. was that a save? Uh, no, that's a straight damage roll. Okay. And I did uh, seven points of damage. Yikes. This is my boomstick. Uh, that's very nice. Uh, let's see... Who was the who went last before Copious? Leaf. So that would take us to Noodle. Uh, Noodle, as you raise your blade, the zombies in front of you fall to the ground. Then I cut my leg off. <laughs> Leaf, uh, your zombies have fallen to the ground. Copious, your agonizing blast has finished off. 
poor little Penelope. Uh, she dies in a pool of acid or whatever. What is that? Fire? Are they agonize, but it's just Eldritch Blast. I don't know. All right, fair. So, uh, magical energy. Noodle, magical don't energy. give him ideas like, and I cut off my leg. Never say that. <laughs> Because the answer is always yes. I, I, Rob, I pick up it. Uh, the, uh, d- her blood or whatever came out of her. Just start bottling it for later. Icor. Yeah. August, Robert, Felix, Copius, uh, you are all within range of her. Noodle, Leaf, you are in range of the deceased. We'll call them zombies. You aren't really sure what they were. Uh, <laughs> as Copius has guessed, uh, the Circus of the Dead has played out uh, to a most excruciating ending. Uh, as the fires dim on uh, the lawn and the two wagons, uh, you still have six more wagons uh, that presumably are there. Uh, and everybody give me a perception check. Twenty. 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 Twenty-one. Nineteen. Where are there mounts to these wagons? I never saw it. You just said there's people with whack pulling wagons behind them. Yeah, there are no mounts. And one at a time. They're exploding. Disappearing Falling into down. dust. There's only one wagon left. Oh, Ooh, is it Mrs. Fratello's uh, wagon? The, the shiny paint on it dulls. The wood begins to warp. And it ages unbelievably like it's 50, 60 years old. Does it remain standing, mm. though? It doesn't fall apart? It does not fall apart. I, I'm a bloody mess, so I'm not going to be the one that's probably able to walk over. Well, I'll and certainly do walk over and take a look in it. Same. I'm going to look over. I'm going to heal the copious. I got to touch him to heal him. You, uh, you know, probe at, the wounds to make sure they're okay. Say, how's that storytelling, sir? Let I, me do your wound. Yeah, as right. he's healing me, I'm going to point out, you know, I'm going to make sure you get a good mention in the next story from the bards. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't say. Uh, Leaf, Manfang, Haggis, and Felix, uh, you go over and there's uh, a, an old chest that's been overturned, uh, some miscellaneous clothing in there, uh, all, all very old, not, not stylish at all, it's never going to make the cover of Vogue, it appears to be old, I will take a D12 from you four, uh, there's one item in there. Eight, four. Man thing. What were we rolling again? A D12. D12. Four. Leaf, uh, you find a small scarab. Uh, like a, a locket without mm-hmm. a chain. Uh, and it, it's just a gothic V. Okay. I'll examine it anyways. Sure. It looks like a very old piece of uh, antique jewelry. A wolf howls in the background. <laughs> and the sun, the moon rises to its zenith. It has been a rocky day. Uh, this sounds like a great place for a stopping point now that Copius is done bleeding all over everything. Yep. Uh, let's go with final thoughts. Uh, Leaf the Druid, what'd you think? Oh, uh, that, well, that was, uh, that was a uh, rough go at with that battle. And just because of the way things were going. Here, here, not here. knowing, I didn't really know what we were dealing with either. I didn't, the descriptions didn't mean a lot. I figured they were undead, but. Well, heroes got to be heroes. Yes. Uh, Mr. Haggis Crapstain, what'd you think? Do you miss her? <laughs> the hair, the bearded lady? Yes. Oh, the smelly one. You love her. You love so dearly. I'm, I'm all right. You know, <laughs> good you know one. Drown it in sorrows. 
OPSV bitters. How's that uh, mantle of heroism treating you? <laughs> I'm going to proudly display these scars at every tavern <laughs> that I go to and talk about the entire troop of zombies and the zombie queen that I killed by myself heroically. <laughs> So I will be paying you, guards to sing this tale. <laughs> only by him. So you've learned your lesson is what you're I saying. I have learned my lesson. The visuals, though, Frank, credit to the DM for the visuals of copious being surrounded by folks trying to convince the rest of the party that there's an issue. The visuals of that were excellent. You're welcome. Uh, Felix the Rogue, uh, way yeah. to let everybody share in the glory. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, I, no, it was good. I had a lot of fun. Got to shoot some dice this time. You got to gamble. One, you yeah, know what? One, if, if you look around, I bet you find yourself a set of four dice. I might have to go and look because my, I was going to go meet up with Pete's Pips in Cragwich. <laughs> Hopefully I not have to make that stop this time. You know what? Give me uh, four rolls of investigation. We'll go ahead and take the uh, edge off right now. They're probably melting. Come on, Felix. Big numbers. Big numbers. Ooh, I got a 19, a 16, an 8, and a 4. You got four gold dice with silver pips in them. Congratulations. Yes, uh, Noodle, Scarface, what'd you think? That was great. I got to use my punches, Rocky Punch. <laughs> I got to use my Rocky punches. I thought it was pretty fun. I finally used the acid breath in a while. I don't even think you remembered you had it. I, I remember using it when we first, when we were in the dungeons. Yeah, I think it. you dumped that on that druid over there. I think I did. That's why I hate nature so much. And, and last but not least, Robert of Fire. I, I think there, there was awakening in this game. <laughs> From his response, <laughs> I don't think there was. <laughs> I, I've learned that, uh, you know, I need to quit hiding in the shadows and come out as the fire fireman I am. You know? You know, I, I don't have to have somebody preach my glories to, you know, stroke my ego. Bold. Bold uh, moves. Size issues. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Margoo campaign. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, if you want to buy our crap, go ahead. Doesn't matter. Uh, if you want a seat on the table, let us know. Hey, everybody, let's wash our hands and wave goodbye as the producer logs us out of here. Bye.